Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. It's only a closet, and we are back with our host, Wendy Scott from Timeless Closets and Cabinetry. Excited to have her here, and she has a very special guest today. I'll just tell you, it's Carla Loper from Wine Storage Solutions. We're going to talk to her about the work she does and beautiful work at Keswick Wine Storage Systems. Uh, Before that, Wendy, welcome. Excited to have you back here. Exciting to be here for your series. Tell us a little bit about what's in store for us in the closet today. Okay, Wendy Scott from Timeless Closets and Cabinetry, and um, you can get me at wendy at timelesscc.com or Timeless Closets and Cabinetry on all social media platforms. And today, we always say it's it's only a closet. We do so much more. Yep. And I know, well, I don't know Carla personally, only chatted a few times on the phone, but I know her company, Keswick Wine, because they always win awards at the closet conference, and it makes me very sad because I can't. <laughs> so now I have a closet, a, a wine project, and I need to know more. So here is Carla. Hi, Carla. Hello. How are you? Good to see you guys. Great. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks so much. Sorry Please introduce. About- oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself uh-huh. and what it is you do. Kessler. Kessick. So our company, Keswick Wine Cellars, we actually design and manufacture custom wine rooms, wine walls, any kind of wine storage that your client may need. Um, We are wholesale to the trades only. So um, we really work a lot with closet, the closet industry, kitchen and bath, and then our wine cellar professionals. So we're, we don't work with homeowners. We work with design professionals. Excuse me, like Miss Wendy herself. (laughs) And people are incorporating this all over their homes. I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, Tell us the website, how we can find you and the company. So our website is Kessick, K-E-S-S-I-C-K dot com. Um, You can reach me at Carla, C-A-R-L-A at Kessick dot com. Um, And check out our Instagram, excuse me, Kessick Wine Cellars. Sorry. Um, in order to see just some of our completed projects. Oh my goodness, Wendy. So now how did the two of you connect originally? What was the the connection point for you? So I know her, I know the company through the ACSP and through the closet conference. And um, because I was working on a project and I know I needed to learn more, I worked out with, I messaged my sales rep and said, hey, what about being on the podcast? And that's how we were given to Carla because she is the number one gal. Amazing. All right. Well, I'm on your website and I'm looking at some amazing wine cabinetry here. And let me just ask um, just a little bit about your background and how, you know, you got here. (laughs) So we have been in business. We're going up on our 20th year. Um, It was basically a very niche market at the time that we started the company. We are family owned, family operated. I own it with my two brothers. Um, and we, and actually my husband and all four of us work together every day. So, um, we're very involved, um, in what we do in every aspect of it. And it's grown. This industry has grown from just tiny little companies around also a lot of, um, just cabinet shops doing wine storage, just wood only, or you would have hardware companies that would sell wine hardware and it's just evolved. So sorry. Um, So what you can get now is so much more than what was available when we first went into this business 20 years ago. And do you think like really cool things like uh, feature walls and like fun stuff that's uh, just like amazing, like interior designers doing, you know, small pieces. A lot. Of, I saw once where there was a, it was a Toll Brothers home, and they just had one wall in the dining room that was just filled with stone and wine pegs. Wow! So there's yes. so much more than just like the regular wine storage out there, and you do all of that, right, Carla? Yes, we do. We do all of the designing and the manufacturing of anything that you see on our website or our Instagram. We have designed it and we have manufactured it, and we've really pushed the envelope of what is out there. Um, We're very big into design. Um, Robert is, um, he's really the founding owner and he just, I can't 
get him to stop producing. <laughs> it's like product development constantly, but it's really pushed our company um, to be able to offer just whatever it is that your client's looking for. Like you said, we do anything from like a wine panel to, you know, 9,000 bottle wine storage in a, in a hospitality environment. So pretty much whatever it is, whether it's traditional or very contemporary or what's really popular now is a mixture of the two. That's that's what's so good about what we do. We don't do one thing or the other. We do it all. So it's exciting. You said something really cool and fun yesterday. You said that there was a difference between the hobbyist or the people who drink their collection versus true <laughs> collectors. I think I'd be a I think I'd be a drinking collector. I'm with you, Wendy. Thanks. I wish we had this at five o'clock. We could have all had glasses. I know, of wine right? I got coffee for now. That, that's as good as it gets. <laughs> Yes. And now, honestly, most people are hobbyists. If you look at the sheer number of people that are putting wine storage in their homes, now wine storage is going in just as just a standard feature um, in a lot of homes today. And those are hobbyists. And then you have your, you know, not rare, but really not that common person that's buying for true storage, which would be over 1,500 bottles, and they need to store it in a different way than a hobbyist does. A hobbyist what is the difference? Wine. Yeah. So what Pretty is the much. difference between the two and their storage way? So um, a true collector is going to have a lot of wine. They are, they are bringing wine in that they know they're never going to drink. Mm-hmm. Um, they just enjoy the collection of it. Um, and they want to, st- and they need to store it in a way that will last for many, many years. So um, usually that's in a, you know, more of a secluded room. Um, the climate control is very important. Whereas a hobbyist, they're drinking their wine. They, they're, they have two or 300 bottles, you know, maybe some 50 or 100 bottles, and they have it right in the center of the home. Um, they want easy access to it, and they want to show it off. It's a, um, it's a social thing. Um, yeah. Get together with friends and your wine is just displayed beautifully and it's just, it's just fun for people. Well, that uh, leads me to the next question with, so if they're displaying it, what, what are the trends that you're seeing? Like what's, what's hot right now and what do you see coming? So what's hot right now? Oh, there's a lot of metal combined with wood that's going on right now. Um, right in the center of the home, what, whether it's a wine wall that separates two rooms or, um, in your industry, I see a lot of conversion. So we'll take a old pantry and we will repurpose it and make a really cool little wine room or a closet. We, we see that a good bit. And it's just um, making uh, area space that just wasn't really needed or functional into something that can be used and showed off. Put glass in front of it, even if you don't do climate control, which some people don't just don't need it. They 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 keep their house at seventy degrees year round, and they're not worried about their collection going bad because they're drinking through their collection. So they might not even have refrigeration. They might just put it behind glass just for the beauty of it. I was going to ask, yeah, um, what is the correct temperature to store? Um, and do you need reds in a separate um, uh, wine cellar area compared to whites, or is there an overall that you could you could uh, keep them both in together? So you do store whites and reds differently. Um, a white needs to be at refrigeration temperature, um, whereas a red, there's a lot of debate in the industry about the perfect temperature for your wine. If you are a true collector, you're going to keep your wine at 55 degrees. If you are a hobbyist, that's really not needed. As long as the temperature is consistent, then your wine is going to be fine. What you don't want is you don't want your wine going up and down five degrees every day. You want it to be the same temperature all the time and your wine will last for many years. And, you know, the, when I think traditional um, wine cellars and closets that you're doing, I call them wine closets now because I'm combining you and Wendy, um, but I always think of that dark wood, but I'm seeing more different trends. Like I'm on your website and uh, you, I see a lot of like see-through glass now, right? And just shelving, not that dark mahogany wood, uh, even though there's both. And one thing I'm impressed about is I saw a picture on your website earlier of um, you have a wine cellar that's actually like, under a staircase that's built into to the wall 
That's a very big trend right now. Huh. Um, <laughs> That's uh, nice. Like you said, the acrylic, the clear, uh, so that your bottle looks like it's kind of like floating. floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, see that at a lot really, of the fancy restaurants. <laughs> yes, yes. So what you're doing is you're focusing on that label. And okay. they make labels so beautifully. Um, and so what you're doing is you're looking at that bottle instead of the wine storage around it. And that is definitely a trend. Under the stairs is very popular. It's unused space. And you can do some really amazing things um, in, in a night in a contemporary way not the traditional like you say the heavy wood another thing that's really trending right now is wine enclosures so not everybody wants to do a room build out okay or have construction going on in their home so um we have a new product that's it's basically a 20 inch depth um it's surrounded in glass and it's a wine enclosure with with the refrigeration um, so you can keep it, you know, 65 degrees um, and, and you don't have to do anything in your home to make that happen. You just have to have a space for it. And what goes in these enclosures is whatever you want. You can you can lean, you know, contemporary, tra- transitional and even some wood we're, we're putting in them. What is the most popular metal color that you're working with right now? Well, we've gone through, I mean, this trends big time. Um, in 2020, 2021, it was gold, gold, gold. Everybody was loving it. And I think that gold is here to stay. I don't think it's going out, but right now we're back to black, Mm-mm. black everywhere. Interesting. And, yeah. and you work with the leather a lot as well. Are you seeing a specific color in leather? All chagrin. All chagrin. She yeah. works with Echo Domo, Jill. Oh, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, some amazing... Well, Pro- projects with Ecodomo uh, leather doing wine panels. Mm-hmm. So, which again, wine panels is another trend. It's, you know, it goes right on your wall. And so it takes up no space. Um, you can make your panel out of leather, wood, wow. any of these amazing substrates like high gloss panels, textured panels, you know, whatever it is that your room wants, yeah. a wine panel can accommodate. Yeah. Well, also, I noticed like the lighting. I mean, like you're very similar, you and Wendy. All about the lighting in the closets, in the in the wine cabinetry. I mean, beautiful, right? And we're seeing a lot of that. I remember back in the day, there wasn't lighting with our wine cellars. Uh, my old neighbors, we're talking 20, 30 years ago, it was just a dark room, right? And now you guys have such beautiful lighting elements you add to it as well. Now, in the wine industry, it's the LED light has changed everything because it doesn't heat up like the traditional lighting that was you know, used before. So even though LED de- lighting does heat a little, it, you can have it in your wine storage without worrying about the lights heating up your wine. And um, it's easy. Uh, everybody lights everywhere. We um, rarely put out a project without heavy lighting. That's what people want. Yeah. It's basically the new lo- the new artwork mm-hmm. is is the wine wall or the wine storage, right? And we have a line called Wine as Art, oh. and we actually um, rolled this line out many years ago before it started trending, and maybe it started trending somewhat because of Keswick, but that was our idea. The wine bottle is so beautiful; it is a piece of art. So let's display our wine that way, which is where we came up with Wine as Art. Um, we actually, um, the closet industry does use the wines art panel a good deal because it's easy. It's, um, and it's more than easy. It is, it's so flexible. You can do so many different things with it, um, whether it's under the stairs or huge wine panels and being able to choose whatever panel you want just makes a big difference. So just to, just to clarify, since I know we're not looking at it, but I can do a share screen if you want, the wine panel would be the wall of leather or the sheet and then the pegs or different st- or parallels affixed to it to create that, that wall piece. Correct. That's right. It's just a three quarter inch panel, whether it is out of wood or leather. Um, and then you can use wine hardware to, you know, to, every panel can be different. You can have mixed your, your label view with your neck out um, you can have just row after row of the label view um, to get just 
all you're seeing is that wine label and um and then a lot of people if they want capacity they'll do a neck out version because you can get a lot more wine in a square foot um, than with the label view and and then they're mixing them so you might have you know neck out top and bottom and label view in the middle it just whatever your creativity can think of that's what we can do with it and that's why i think why it's so popular now you have two different two main lines right they're super custom each piece is made to your specs and then you have the towers which is the one i've been working with where they're specific towers so it's a little more cost friendly but these are the cabinets that you're sticking with am i getting that right so we are a custom shop um, and whatever somebody is looking for, we can do. But we have started bringing in not just with the Tower Series, which the Tower Series is a cabinetry line, wine cabinetry that is just semi-custom. So you can choose your different wood stains, um, three different widths, two different heights, but it's still standard. You can't go outside of those boundaries, but it's more economical. But even with our wine as art, um, we have a separate website, wineasart.com, where we have standard oh. options available that are very affordable, even in the leather. Um, and we are actually rolling out a catalog on live storage wow. for both Wine as Art and a new um, all-metal system that's been very popular. And by the way, where are you based out of, and are you working with those nationwide or worldwide? So we have done worldwide projects. We prefer to stay in the States. It's uh -huh. just easier. Um, but we are nationwide. Our big areas, California, Florida, Texas, New York, but all over the country. And you're in North Carolina, South Carolina? We are in South Carolina, yes. South Upstate Greenville, South Carolina. Beautiful area. Wow. Well, you know, some people look at this and say, wow, can I get, you know, is this affordable? You know, I look at, you know, my, my son's um, godfather lives in Nashville, Tennessee, and he's the second largest private wine collector in the country. So when I tell you what his wine collection looks like and his uh, area, his storage system is just amazing. But he did just move. I haven't seen what he's done yet, but I know he downsized so he doesn't have as many bottles. But um, there's something about just... The look of that when you walk into a home, it's just so pristine. But some people might say, well, can, can I afford it, right? As you mentioned, there's, uh, you know, two different lines, right? So someone like me probably couldn't afford, uh, could afford the, the fully customizable one. But um, is this something, you know, that, you know, people come to you and you can, you know, is it affordable in a sense to someone like me who's starting out who wants a little wine uh, storage area? Yes, absolutely. Um, we have different lines that... I mean, it is a luxury product, but we have lines out there with the Wine is Art, the Tower Series, and our new um, line that we are introducing in live storage and with our custom, which is Psalm Series. It's a all-metal system, which has been wildly popular. I actually um, have a, a system that we set up over here just to show some dealers, and I have a photo I could, I could show. I thought the closet industry might be interested in the fact that we are putting out the live storage catalog um, just because it's it makes it easy for you guys to design. I know closet, kitchen and bath, they like to do their own design work, um, but wine storage isn't simple for people. And we've tried to make it simple with these different um, product lines. Live storage is a design program that a lot of closet companies use. So there's, there's Closet Pro, Wine Store, um, Live storage, KCD, there's a lot of different ones. So live storage is the one that you've created. The, she's created the catalog for. I faked it using another program and it was not easy. So the fact that you have this in a program, that's really tempting. Yes, it, it is. It's, I think it's going to be huge for the industry. Will you be coming out with additional um, catalogs for other design programs? Or are you sticking with live storage for now? Well, this is our first one and we have already been looking at others so I think that that is we we never stay still we are always evolving and pushing the envelope so um, I imagine that this is our first one of several what do you see coming down the pike for trends what are you foreseeing you know we have this industry has just brought in so much I think that 
we're seeing a lot of all metal systems. I think that the combining the wood and the metal, people really like that. They want to warm up the metal, but they still like that um, that all metal look or a lot. I have a picture I wouldn't mind showing. Oh, yeah, yeah, hit please. the share screen. Feel free. Let me see. And I also I wanted to ask you, I saw that you did, is it true you all did the, the wine storage system for 11 Madison Park in New York City? Sure did. That was a good one. That was a fun project. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That, that That's amazing. That's a top restaurant. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, wine storage for, you know, country clubs and restaurants mm-hmm. all over the country. Um, and it's it's fun. Those we really enjoy doing those projects, um, and then just being able to go into the restaurants and and to feel what other people feel, yeah. which is like, wow, this is beautiful. Mm-hmm. It just gives a certain feeling, like you said, when you walk into your father in law's wine room. It's yeah. just there's something about it. I got distracted. Um, That's okay. Sorry, sorry. You. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to show you something that is trendy. Cool. Um, <laughs> okay you see this picture right here yeah. okay so this is what i'm talking about with the all metal system so this you know it's basically a whole system um you've seen many us in the industry see this a good bit but we have um just added the keswick touch to it where we are adding the wood um, this is actually a humid drawer, so it just warms up these systems. Um, but this is something that is more affordable, and you can do multiple different towers to even create an entire room. But if you want this one wine station, you can do something like this picture that I'm showing here. Um, it's got a little tasting station yeah. and just enough wine, maybe... Maybe you need this in the basement. <laughs> I need uh, this in it, my closet. <laughs> Jill, I know, right? Need room for shoes in your. I know, I know. <laughs> I and that fancy decanter, I'd knock it over with the kids and the animals. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> so, is it just the metal, Carla, or is it the back and the bottom as well? well those are just all design options that can be okay. added. We actually did this just as a. A part of so we were creating a showroom piece but then when we did it we were like wow this would look great in a home this looks like the new european closets they're really sh- pushing out now that are starting to show up is um mm-hmm. is this going to be specific sizes as well then so this comes what we do we're custom so we can do anything but there are if you stay within the standards we have three widths um 18 inches, 28 inches, and 42 inches. So it's basically, um, if, if it's a label view, it's one bottle wide, two bottles wide, or three bottles wide. Um, and then also with the depth, you can you can do this neck out, or you can do this label view, so we have three bottles deep here. And all of these shelves are interchangeable, and this is just a couple of the options that we have. We also offer shelves. So even though this is a semi-custom line, in many ways, the design options are just seamless. Is this on the cool. website now? Um, no. Is this in live it storage? Is, it is. It, it, <laughs> so our um, our storage catalog, our song catalog, comes out. I think the end of next month. Okay. So it will be on that catalog um, or in that catalog, and then we're also going to roll out a wine is art, the wine panels as a catalog as well. Are you um, going to be at KBiz? We are, and we are going to show a lot of this sum series. I just think it's um, it's going to be big in the industry. Uh, I need to be on the list for this catalog. Enough. We're running out of time, Jill. I know. I apologize. We must go. We've got a little bit of a late start today, but remind us how we can contact you both, and thank you for being here as well. I'll go quick, 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 so Carla can be last. Timeless Closets and Cabinetry for all social media platforms, Wendy at TimelessCC.com, and Carla. Thank you guys so much for having me. Um, you can reach us at Keswick.com or our social media, Keswick Wine Cellars, um, phone number 864-297-1911, and to reach me personally, Carla, C-A-R-L-A, at Keswick, K-E-S-S-I-C-K.com. And all of this will be on the website.
Great. Thank you so much Thank for being guys. here today and looking Thanks, forward to next Carla. week. Thanks, ladies. Bye. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, Dad, how do airplanes fly? What's in this box? Can I touch this? Where does sand come from? Is this tree good for climbing? What happens if I mix these two things together? How are babies made? What does this thing do? Kids are curious about everything, including guns. Talking to them about gun safety in your home is a good first step, but you can do more. Always keep your guns locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition. Storing your guns securely is the best way to prevent family fire, including unintentional shootings. For more information on safe gun storage and ways to keep your family safe, visit endfamilyfire.org. That's endfamilyfire.org. What do we keep in the attic? What's this thing called? Can I ride my bike backwards? Like I said, kids are curious. It's up to us to keep them safe. Brought to you by End Family Fire, Brady, and the Ad Council.